Hello, my name is Eddie Topic. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. Here is your daily technical analysis for LME 3 month copper and aluminium. We'll start with copper first. A second bearish black crow yesterday and a huge, really big bearish black marabozo. The drop punched down through and closed below some significant supports, notably the small congestion zone between 86.60 and 87.70 within which reside the old upper channel line for the recent bullish roof pattern currently at 86.98 and the very recent 50% Fibonacci line at 86.61. These were significant. There are others nearby at another slightly larger congestion zone of 83.50 to 84.97 I'd like to draw your attention to. The market halted its move lower at really in mid-air. There was no major supports below until that 83.50-84.97 zone. Now admittedly there is a GAN number at 83.68, but there's another one at 85.77 and a better compound GAN number at 85.86, though the close yesterday was near that last one. It was just a little surprising to see no move down to 8500 when it really could. So far today, a reactionary move back up over and through the small congestion 8660, 8770 and onwards to the important GAN number at 9000. Should prices overcome that, please remember the previously oft-mentioned congestions overhead at 9160, 9305 and 9605. I suspect the move down yesterday especially getting stuck in no man's land as it did at the end of the session was possibly a move too far. The congestion looks as if it should have caught that market, whatever the reason. The current action today is looking very much like a bullish harami. LME 3 month aluminium. A bearish closing long black marabozo yesterday, coming as it did after an indecisive spinning top, the second highest in recent days. I'll come on to yesterday's action in a moment, but first I'd like to look at the implications. There are these two fairly close together tops now. They open the door to a possible double top action. There are caveats to that idea. Now whilst yesterday's action was large and bearish, the move down was through fairly free territory, bar the significant August high at uh, 2178. The market halted just ahead of the two congestion zones at 2100 to 2120 and 2080 to 2087. The first zone contained within it the big 50% Fibonacci line of the 2011-2015 move at 2119, as well as the old gap from October 2018 between 2100 to 2106. The second zone contains the 50% Fibonacci line of the 2018-2020 move at 2086 as well as the important highs from mid-December and late November 2020. Hence the move down only punched through and closed below one significant support and shied away from testing some more serious work below. That leaves a question mark. So far today, a seeming significant pullback, peaking so far at the August 2018 high. This is very important as it still leaves the idea of a double top action open be very interesting to see what happens next. Thank you for listening. This short version broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here comes the final bit. <laughs> 